Hello, in this video we're going to set the stage for um, updating and inserting records into an ERP or CRM package using sData. So in the video so far we've basically been just reading data out of um, the Sage 300 ERP package and having a look at different ways to get ranges of records or get records according to different queries as well as read individual records. Now in this video we're going to look at um, how to basically use a REST client or use REST client software. So um, oops. what we want to do is look at using REST client software so that we can actually start inserting and updating records. So REST client software just gives us a little bit more power in what we do um, for manipulating sdata. So we've been using the browser so far for doing sdata, but the browser is only for reading data. Now we want to get to um, actually updating and inserting data. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the Firefox browser and we're going to use this um, add-on from Mozilla which is a REST client. So basically if you go to Firefox's website um, they have this add-on at this URL. Um, you just have to look at Re you know, Google REST client Firefox and you'll find this. You install it and then what you get is you get this little icon in the upper right of your Firefox for the REST client um, service. You click on it and you basically get a simple thing like this that lets you do RESTful um, calls over the internet to um, look at the data. And so let's just look at, you know, again, you know, looking at the URL we've been using, this one here, what we're going to do is just look at doing that one. First we'll do a read and see what we get. So um, I'm just going to cut and paste the URL we've been using. So we'll just copy that and we'll paste it into this URL bar and it, it's a get request, which is what the browser does to read. And we just hit go. Oops, or sorry, hit enter and away it goes. And now in the lower part of the browser, um, what we've got is we've got the response. We've got the response in raw form, which is very much like what the Chrome browser returned to us, a big mess. But the nice thing with this client is now we have a highlighted version. So basically it, it's highlighted all the different XML keywords and you know links are red and other you know tags are blue, those sort of things. And put in carriage returns. So this is actually much easier to read the XML that we get back from these requests than it was just in the straight browser. So we'll probably use this going forwards um, just to sort of we've made the point that sdata requests are just regular HTTP requests that you do over the browser and basically get requests. So this is just operating this um, RESTful client just like a browser. So that's exactly what the browser does. And this thing just has a couple ways of displaying the data. Here it's in an XML view so you can use the folding up the, the terms so you can sort of get rid of high groups of tags that you don't want to look at and a bit more highlighting. But we'll probably just keep using um, the regular highlighted view to look at what's returned. So that's how we do a read request. Now suppose we wanted to actually insert um, a new customer into this um, customer database. How do we do that with sdata? Well we'll go into that in much more detail but just the basic idea is, is that HTTP, the protocol that we're using and the browser uses to communicate over the internet, it has the get verb to get um, web pages and such but it also has post to insert them put to update them and delete to delete them. And we might even talk about some of these other um, verbs later, but we'll go into these in a more, bit more detail. But just quickly on this video, just to show using the client, is we're gonna try inserting a record, so we'll use post. And then how do you insert it? Well, obviously you've gotta put the, the data for what you wanna insert in this body portion. And this is the part we can't do in a browser, which is why we need this um, software now. Now what I'm gonna post um, what I'm going to paint or sort of cut and paste in there is this little bit of XML. And this XML, if you followed the video on getting results, on getting the results for a single record um, using an atom entry, this is actually just an atom entry. So this is actually what's returned from a read request. So if we do a read request, we'll get the correctly formatted XML. Um, back and you can look at that video to see what all the fields are here and then we feed it into the body so we just paste here and there there's our nice um, XML which again is just an atom entry and it's in there 
and then all we can do is, you know, we can just hit enter. Whoops, sorry, enter in the right place just to send this request. It's a bit hard in the smaller browser because I can't quite see all the buttons. And away it goes. And in this case, we actually got back an error saying customer record already exists. And the reason we got that is because just before I tried this, just before I recorded this video, I just went through the request quickly to make sure they would work. And so I've already entered the record for Steve. So all I got to do here is say change the customer ID to Steve2. And then we'll enter that. And the SData request will go ahead. And then what we get back in the response is we'll actually get back the record we just inserted. But when we inserted it, we didn't specify all the fields in the record. And what happens when we do the insert is we then get back all the fields in the record, whether we specified them or not. So we can see what the actual value of any generated fields were as a result of um, doing this um, insert record. So that's how SData works. So that's just um, a quick showing you how to do an insert and showing you the key thing is, is how to use this simple Firefox um, RESTful client, which works for any RESTful API, including SData. And this is what we'll use going forwards to do the um, updates and inserts and deletes and such. So basically all the methods in HTTP that aren't supported by the browser, but are supported by all sorts of other clients. So that's a little bit of a progression there. Plus we start to see the data formatted in a nicer way. So thank you.